Prior to commencing the haircut, make a thorough assessment of the hairline growth patterns and decide on the length of the side areas and the fringe. Divide the haircut as shown, a horizontal line across the back of the head at the top of the ears, and a triangle that covers the crown area. The haircut is started through the triangular area. Take a vertical section through the center. Comb the hair straight out and cut a line that follows the shape of the head. This section is the guide for the rest of this area, so take time to judge the length carefully. Now take a parallel section and comb the hair slightly onto the first. Once again, take time to assess how the hair is reacting. Repeat this procedure through the second side of the triangle. Now divide a second triangle that sits on the corner of the head. Take a vertical section, comb the hair straight out and once again cut a line that follows the shape of the head. Now take a parallel section, lift the hair straight out and cut using the previous section as a guide.
the final section in this triangular area is over-directed slightly back. Take time to assess the shape you've created and notice that the hair has been left out between the two triangles. Now repeat this procedure through the second side. Ensure the balance of the shape is symmetrical. Notice how the hair is over-directed as the front of the section is reached. Establish the length through the outline, comb the hair straight down and with minimal tension cut a square line. Once the hair has been dried, refine the shorter lengths with a pointing technique.
work on the first section of hair between the three previously cut triangles. Lift the section straight up and cut a line from short to long. The length at the top corresponds with the length at the top of the previously cut hair. Now repeat this procedure through the second side. Refine these two sections using a pointing technique. Check this area for balance and symmetry again using a pointing technique. Now work on the hair through the side area. Take a horizontal section, comb the hair down, and with the underneath finger resting against the skin, cut a line that follows the angle of the jaw. Subsequent sections are cut following this guideline. Repeat this procedure through the second side. Once again, all the sections are combed down onto the same line. Now work on the fringe area. Take a curved section around the face and cut a line across the bridge of the nose. Notice how the sides of the section are combed very slightly into the center, which will produce more length in this area.
subsequent sections are combed down and cut on this guideline. Notice how much hair is incorporated into the fringe section. This is the key to producing a heavy, graduated feel to the shape. To eliminate any roundness through the corners of the fringe, take a triangular section through the side and cut a line that blends the length of the crown with the outline of the fringe. procedure through the second side. shape prior to colouring. Prior to colouring, section the hair as shown. A curved line working from ear to ear and two triangular sections through the fringe. The hair has been pre-lightened using Collison Perfect 12 stroke 16 Special Soft Ash and 12% Well Oxen.
through the long area beneath the occipital bone using a classic tint application procedure. With Collison Perfect 8 stroke 93 light Sandra Blonde and 6% well oxen. This section then curves around to incorporate the shorter side areas. Now protect this area with foil. The second colour is the accent colour, Colliston Perfect 0 stroke 88 blue with 6% well oxen. This is placed through the hairline area in the first fringe triangle, which also incorporates a certain amount of the side area. The size of this section will be determined by the desired strength of the look. Take slice sections and isolate each one with foil.
brew the second French triangle, use blonde or creme bleach and 4% well oxen. Once again, the size of the section will be determined by the desired strength of the look. Notice how these two sections sit asymmetrically through the front. Now color the remaining hair using Colliston Perfect 10 stroke 0 lightest blonde with 30 milliliters of 9 stroke 16 very light soft ash and 6% well oxen. allow color to develop according to manufacturer's instructions. And here is the finished result, a dramatic shape with a bold fringe and contrasting thin shaped textures. This intricate technique incorporates dramatic fins of disconnected length with a delicate texture. Cyberglow color completes the look with streamlined flashes of super accurate hyper real neon. Prior to commencing the haircut, make a thorough assessment of the hairline growth patterns.
Divide the hair as shown. An asymmetrical tear-shaped section is then divided into triangular sections. Start the haircut through the sides. Take a horizontal section. Lift the hair straight out and cut a square line through the temple area. This line extends through into the back. Work all the way to the center, lifting the hair straight out. Now repeat this procedure through the second side. Now take a vertical section through the center back and cut a line that follows the shape of the head. Subsequent sections are parallel, combed straight out from the head and cut using the previous section as a guide. Continue around the back of the head.
Notice how the sections pivot as the side area is reached. Continue through the sides taking parallel sections and begin to develop a certain amount of length through the edge. of the ears allow the hair to slide through the fingers to develop more length around the hairline. This haircut is partly inspired by the classic Sassoon Havington shape cut in the 1970s. Now repeating the same cutting and sectioning procedure for the second side.
start through the front hairline, take diagonal sections and cut a line that follows the shape of the head. Subsequent sections are parallel, lifted straight out, and cut using the first section as a guide. Notice once again the Havington influence of allowing the hairline to slip through the fingers to produce exaggerated length. Now work through the remainder of the hair through the side using this technique. Now tighten the front hairline using a scissor over comb technique. Now refine this whole underneath area using a combination of scissor over comb and pointing techniques. Through the nape, refine and tighten this area using a scissor over comb technique. This length of the underneath area will be varied depending on the wearer and the texture of the hair.
to assess the shape created so far. The top is now divided into three fin-shaped sections, the first of which runs through the temples. Lift the hair out and back and cut a line whilst allowing the hair to slide through the fingers that works from short at the crown to longer around the front of the hairline. Subsequent sections are combed down onto the line and cut using the first section as a guide. Now repeat this procedure with a second fin-shaped section through the other side. Once again, cut subsequent sections by using the first section as a guide. Because this is primarily a freehand technique, Care should be taken to assess the hair thoroughly whilst allowing the hair to dry. More weight can be removed through these sections by lifting the hair slightly more and refining the internal shape. Refine these two fin-shaped sections by using a variety of pointing techniques. 
This will also blend the short scissor over comb area. To work on the third central fin, divide the section into two at the highest point of the head and using the underneath lengths as a guide, cut a line that works from short to long through the rear part of the section. Allow the hair to dry throughout this procedure so that the hair's reaction can be gauged.
part of this section is cut in the same way as the rear part, shorter on the crown, longer towards the front hairline, allowing the hair to dry as the shape progresses. the entire shape using a variety of pointing techniques. shape prior to colouring. Prior to colouring, divide the hair as shown. A large curvy triangular section from a point behind one ear through to just inside the front hairline.
triangular section is pre-lightened using blonde or creme bleach and 6% well oxen. Use a slice section colouring technique, isolating each section with foil. Work through the rest of the long hair contained within this triangular section with the same technique. Here you can see how the foiled sections follow the curve of the triangular area. Now protect the shorter hair with barrier cream prior to colouring and isolate with foil. Color the remainder of this triangular section being very careful not to allow the color to overlap around the edges.
now allow the color to process. The overall color is a combination of 60 milliliters of Colliston Perfect 3 stroke 66 Deep Damson plus 30 milliliters of 55 stroke 65 Deep Vibrant Violet with 6% Welloxin. Use a classic tint application procedure. Once this area has been isolated with foil, divide the bleached triangular area into three smaller sections. Through the first area, use Colliston Perfect 0 stroke 28 petrol with 6% Welloxin. Use a slice sectioning technique and lay all the hair into the same foil packet. Notice how the color becomes finer in the shorter hair and follows the shape of the triangular section. Now isolate this area with foil. The second section follows the first and uses Colliston Perfect 0 stroke 65 deep pink with 6% Welloxin.
The third colour used is a mixture of Colliston Perfect 10 stroke 0 lightest blonde with 10 millilitres of Colliston Perfect 0 stroke 88 blue and 0 stroke 28 petrol and 6% well oxen. to process according to manufacturer's instructions. And here you have the finished result, an intricate balance with striking colour combinations.